What up, what up? Did the shorts cover? No? What are we talking about? All right, so I'm going to make this as quick as I can right now because I don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it because I see it on YouTube, all right? So uh, as I mentioned in my previous videos, there's going to be FUD spread from all sides. I mean, we're being harassed by, you know, sock puppet accounts, actual short sellers, YouTubers, okay? So uh, now, as I mentioned, there are YouTubers who are actual investors, but they, you know, continue this narrative as if something's wrong with AMC, yet some of them still have holdings and some of them still talking about the ticker and no longer in position at all. So just remember that. Now, I want to go ahead and debunk three of them, you know, the 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 huh the three stooges is what i'm gonna call them because damn it they damn sure act like stooges so uh mr marine here as you probably hear in his video he's basically saying oh you know you know the judges they pick their cases and why do they pick this case why do they pick that case bro if if there's another lawsuit i'm just i'm not a judge i'm not i'm not a paralegal i'm not none of that just so i let y'all know I'm not a financial advisor. I'm not. A, I'm not none of that. I am a music producer talking about my favorite ticker. So just so you're aware, if a judge decides to pick another case from another lawsuit that has to do with AMC, you don't think that judge wants to know about that case and see if it's, you know, an, uh, any type of grandstanding, any type of corruption from the other side. I mean, you're coming to their courtroom, okay? So I'm pretty sure. That judge decided, you know what, let me figure this case out and see if it has any legal grandstanding. Oh, and matter of fact, this person that's suing AMC, right, this person, you know, Kevin Barnes suing AMC, oh, he was actually in my previous case. Well, I wonder why he's suing. I'm pretty sure they want to know all of that information before they make determinations. So everything isn't corruption on AMC's behalf, sir. So that just goes to debunk you. Maybe maybe y'all should get out y'all feelings about this play and, you know, maybe actually take an exit. But you're still holding, I'm assuming. And also, this person is still holding. Mr. Donahue George. Okay. Sir, this is what he asks. He says, AMC is under attack and C. Adam, oh, CEO Adam is nowhere to be found. Yes, voters, where did you hide, Adam Aaron? Sir, again. You will not hear from the CEO, and you don't want to hear from a CEO, especially if you got your investment in this, because I'm sure you're still holding. You mentioned that you are. Cause so that tells me, again, you know, you might as well stop with the yes and no voter. You're on the yes side now. You actually went through the reverse stock splitting conversion. So now, welcome aboard the train. So when a corporate action is taking place, and again, I'm not into, I'm not in, on the board of AMC. They don't pay me, none of that stuff that y'all keep claiming that's going on. These influencers know it's common sense kicking in. First of all, the, when a corporate action is taking place, the CEO cannot go to the media, cannot go to social media, you know, saying anything. Otherwise, you and others are going to spew market manipulation. That's why the CEO has not said anything. He is letting everything happen organically. And if you can't handle that, then I'm sorry. Maybe you need to practice more patience. So that's what you should do, sir. Instead of spewing out, where is he? Why won't he speak? Why won't he tweet? Man, you better be glad this CEO actually tweets to us. Because uh, as far as I could tell, there's other CEOs who refuse to tweet at all. Okay, they're not even mentioning anything and there's manipulation going on in their tickers and you don't see the pressure on them, but just on your CEO. Right. Or this particular one. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure, buddy. Now, uh, to and I mean, come on, look at this man <laughs> looking crazy. Now, I say the best for last. You know who? Yeah. So here we got Mr. Muhammad here who has publicly announced that he sold his shares he's out of the position it's been about a week i mean you know i actually gave him a good going away present you know i was singing him a song and all of that i said i'm happy that you're making money but and i left a warning on my last video 
the more that you continue to talk about this ticker and talk about it, bash it, bash CEO, use information to bash CEO, you know, I ain't saying me. I'm just saying there are other apes that are noticing or other people that are noticing, if you will. And they could take it any step further if they feel like you're adding to stock bashing, simply put. So as you can see, he's sharing <laughs> the interview from the lone wolf. And the crazy part is he claims that he never, this is his first time hearing about Mark Cahotis or hearing him speak. And he literally is saying these influencers need to be investigated. <laughs> Meanwhile, did you check to see the main influencer that's in front of you? You literally said, you literally, and that says, here's the part I'm going to Here's the funny part. You actually got a video that says Matt Coors was the problem. Matt Coors was the problem why most investors got in it. One of the problems. He kissed up to Adam Aaron. And then here you are in the next video sharing him talking about influencers need to be investigated. Is he talking about himself? Matter of fact, Mr. Muhammad, here's something you need to know. Mr. Coors here, all over Twitter, by the way, because see, I, I'm, I'm assuming you're only on YouTube. Did you see the video of Mr. Coors actually pushing FTX? Matter of fact, there's so many, so much evidence of him pushing FTX, which turned out to be a Ponzi scheme. All right. Uh, and you probably should do more due diligence on this individual, you know, which we tried to tell y'all. We tried to tell y'all, you know, hey, man, this man wants to use a private blockchain. He claims he wanted to expose the shorts with a private blockchain. Mind you, when you're offering a service, I believe it is up to the individual to do a, I don't know, a background check, right? You get hired at a job, right? You're offering your services. It is up to the person that's hiring to do a background check. And that's what they did. They did a background check and they said, oh, no, nah, this man be like front running, spoofing, all of this and that. Oh, no. Nah. And he came on Twitter calling himself a lone wolf. And, and... There's so many other things this man did, but I don't want to put it on video. But it's clear as day when CEO Adam came out and said, uh, no to T0. It's because this man has the ability to use that private blockchain and really take your bag. And you would have been mad at this motherfucker, a actual one percenter short seller who calls himself the lone wolf. Now. With that being said, sir, you're, you're, the hypocrisy of you is you're sharing this person. And look how confident you seem every day. Every time you upload a video, the, the, your confidence is peaking. <laughs> it's peaking like your confidence is peaking. But at the same time, your confidence and your certainty is leaking. Do you understand what I'm saying? So understand this as i mentioned before there are the misinformed shareholders and then you have the actual short sellers and manipulators that want to see the stock go down and that's what he privies to that's what his thing is so you wouldn't think that he would go along go across the board or go along the limb of maybe seeing the stock go down you don't think he would benefit from bashing the CEO? This is what they've been doing all this time, bashing the CEO. And you're actually helping them do that. Matter of fact, I mean, let's pull out some facts here, okay? I'm going to just go ahead and do it to you. I got to. A stock basher is a person who manipulates the market by spreading false or exaggerated claims against a public company company in attempt to devalue a stock. Now, I'm not saying that's your that's your agenda. However... A stock basher can be a former employee or a stakeholder, a former stakeholder in a company pursuing revenge. So with that being said for you, sir, I'm saying tread lightly and it ain't from me. This is just from what's out there. I'm just saying you believe in, you know, what you believe in and stuff like that. I'm just saying, just know the energy you're putting out there, it will come fold, you know, and uh, and it's crazy. You know, everybody. Uh, what's his name? Clown from clown from dumpster, you know, talking about look at this screenshot. Just share it. Just share it. Look at this. Look at how many trillions of shares. Meanwhile, you know, 
they they just they literally just bust out and say it's Adam Aaron. He's the one doing it, bro. Like, are you are you kidding me? You're coming on YouTube saying this. Mm mm mm. Mm mm mm. And this is why to Mr. George. Adam Aaron is silent because he knows that people like Clown from Dumpster, Jeepers Creepers, you, Marine, and Mr. Muhammad and others are in a coordinated effort to see it go down. Now, I don't know what their side is going to do just based on what they see here. I don't, like I said, I don't work for none of them. I don't get paid by them. And as I mentioned, if, if they was paying me, <laughs> I'd be the first one to tell you. But unfortunately, they don't pay me. I just happen to see the information that you guys give us, and I put it back in your face. So, you don't like it, but unfortunately, you're going to have to, like, realize you're just wrong. Especially if you're still holding, and you're uh, disagreeing with this process. Meanwhile, the rest of us that are holding, we agree with this process. We want to provide our CEO with the firepower to thrive and succeed and become eventually debt free and guess who would hate that a short seller a short seller would hate that by the way okay so just remember that when you're doing your due diligence which it seems like you haven't done any at all because if this is your first time hearing about cohotes then then i have to question are you really an ape so with that being said did the shorts cover? No. What are we talking about? 